How's it going everybody? Trevor Randall's Outdoors Iowa here today. We had a great day on the river walleye fishing, got our limit of walleye, and uh, I wanted to take the time to go ahead and show you guys how I fillet the walleye and how to clean them and how you get all the meat off of them so you can eat awesome, awesome fresh walleye. All right, you guys, check it out. All perfect size eaters. So now what you want to start with, um, I've already bled some of these, but I highly suggest bleeding your walleye out, guys. It makes it such a cleaner meat when you fillet them. So let me show you guys how to do that. Uh, I got a couple of these already done. So now you can do this while you're still out fishing if you're putting them on a stringer and putting them in the water. Or you get home, put them in a bucket of water, it works either way. So I take the walleye, and you've got basically right here in line, let me show you real good. Right here in line with the gills, you're gonna stick a knife or some scissors in behind the gill plate. And you're gonna come up right through the center. So I hope you guys can see that. So you're just cutting through basically where the gills meet right behind the tongue. Now put them in a bucket of water and you let them bleed out for about 10 minutes. And the difference in the meat, I'll tell you what guys, it, the meat comes out so much cleaner and uh, it's worth it. So definitely bleed your walleyes. So we're gonna give those about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna show you how I fillet them. Hey right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully you guys can see this pretty well. So now you're gonna wanna go, you, you see the, the walleye's gill plate here and then they got a side fin. You're gonna wanna get the blade behind that side fin and you're gonna wanna angle it up towards the head and you want the blade to go down towards the belly behind their bottom fin. So when you go to start, you're gonna angle the blade towards its head. That'll get all the meat, because there's meat, guys, all the way up here. And if you start the blade just straight across the body like this, you're gonna miss a huge medallion of meat right there. So go ahead and get it started. Right behind the gill plate. Go down until you feel the spine. Don't go through the spine. Now turn the blade, and go ahead and fillet it down, following the spine, give it a little bit of tension pushing down, that way you make sure you get all that meat off that carcass. Go ahead and flip the fillet over, keep it attached down here at the tail, there you want to start, and then just fillet it off the skin, give the knife a little bit of a bend, comes off beautifully. So there's a flay, but we still have the rib bones in it. Set that off to the side. We'll get to that here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and flip the walleye over. And we're gonna get the other side done. So once again, hopefully you guys can see this from this side now. Right behind the side fin. Angle it towards the top of the head. Come down to the belly. Now make sure you get that blade all the way down on that spine. Work it down the spine of the walleye. There you go. Flip it. Now if you look, there's not much meat that we missed there at all. That's what you want. Go ahead and get this off the skin. Perfect. Set this off to the side. All right, now most people stop on a walleye there. You shouldn't, guys. There's still more meat on this walleye, and I'll show you where. They have meat up here in their cheek. And you're gonna wanna take, and you almost have to do a C cut. You'll actually see a line right here on their cheek, and you follow that line. I like to start up by the eyeball at the top, and I just go on the edge of it at first, and I follow where the edge of the meat is. You can actually use your fingers and push on that cheek, you guys, and you'll feel where the meat is and where the bone is. So you want to get just right on the edge of that bone and around the edge of the meat. Come around, come down to the bottom of the lip. Now you're going to want to come in with your knife and kind of angle it a little bit and follow it down. You'll fillet this cheek meat right off the, the bone. You're going to come all the way up to the skin at the eyeball. And then all you have to do from there, you take and get your fingers behind the meat and in between the meat and the skin and that walleye cheek pops right out. Check that out. These are awesome little morsels, you guys. Don't ever leave these on a fish carcass. You want to eat these on a walleye. So there's one on each side. 
come in. Work it up to the eyeball. Check this out. Let's see if I can get this up close for you guys. I just get my fingers in between the skin and the meat. And see how it just peels right off? Perfect. Now, do you think we're done? Of course not. Guess what, you guys? We still have walleye wings. Either regular knife or electric fillet knife. Turn the word, the head is down. And you start the fillet knife right below both sides of the side fins. So right below those. Run it all the way up as far as you can. It'll stop at the skin. That's the easiest way to get those walleye wings out, guys. Really quick. Awesome little medallions there. It's good meat. Don't forget the walleye wings. All right, so now look at that. We have a cleaned walleye. No meat left on the bone. Everything that we can eat off of this walleye is off of it right now. All right, so now let's come back to the fillets. Now, we want to get these rib bones off. Then also there is a lateral line. It's a, the center line of the fish that runs the length of the body. There's a set of bones inside that lateral line and you want to get those out. So here's what I like to do. Now, if you have a bigger walleye, you can flay the, the rib bones off of the meat and leave the meat intact as the whole flay. But I don't normally do that on the smaller walleyes. So I just take and I get my knife as close to the top of those rib bones as I can. And I follow those rib bones down. And cut the whole section of meat off. So then you got a section of rib bones like that with the meat on the back. Now you have a boneless fillet here except for that lateral line. So now, this is what we call zippering a walleye. You're gonna wanna make two little cuts on the top and the bottom side of this lateral line. And I'll get this closer so you can see it. So basically I just took and I split it right down on the lateral line. Now you're gonna wanna start with the belly meat and see how this just pulled off? This is what I call it zipper, and it looks like a zipper. Now that is a completely boneless piece of filet. Now we're gonna do this side, and sometimes it doesn't go all the way up, so you have to help it. If you do, we can go ahead and get it with a knife. But you just zipper all the way down. So now there's a few bones left up here, and that's partially because of the way that I cut the rib bones out. So you just come in top and you'll feel them with the knife when you get them out. Now that is a completely boneless walleye flay right there. Bam. Okay. Now, but you said, what about that meat on the back side of those ribs? Oh no. Don't forget that. I'll tell you what. This is one of my favorite parts. I start, you can do this with a regular knife or electric flay knife. And you've got right on top of those lateral bones that are left on this. I just start on the other side of them. Work my way down. And then I turn my knife. And I flay that chunk of meat right off of those rib bones. And guess what, guys? What do you think this is called? Walleye bacon. This fries up, and it's such a good little snack, you guys. And look at this chunk of meat. That's like a two-pound walleye. And that's a big chunk of filet right there. That is my favorite way to do it. We didn't waste any meat. All the bones are still intact. Everything's done. So let me go ahead and do this other one real quick. I mean, the other way you can do it, if you really wanted to, you can attempt to save the meat on the back by fleeing the bones off like this. But, like I said, I don't like doing that unless it is a bigger walleye. But it will work on the smaller ones if you finesse it. Now let me go ahead and cut this ladder line. Now check out this zipper, you guys. Start with the belly meat. And it just zips right down. That's all boneless flay right there. There's no bones, no rib bones. No lateral line bones. Now let's zipper off the top piece. Check that out. This one should go all the way down too. 
You can actually see those bones right there. All the way down. Boneless walleye fillet, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to clean a walleye. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these done. I'm going to go ahead and have them for lunch. And maybe I'll save some for dinner for tonight. Eat some fresh walleye. And hopefully be out back again tomorrow and try for some more. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys later. And she swallowed it. That is a monster.